Okay, sorry. I, I just wanted to make sure I have everything I need. I think it's this way, right? Nope. I'm heading in the wrong direction. Yeah, I was thinking, like, I'm pretty sure it's this way, right? Again, I want to mention, it's been a while since I've played this game, but I certainly do like it. Like, like I, I had this game originally on my Xbox 360 when I first got it out, when it first came out. And I had an Xbox 360 at the time because, you know... Oh, I was thinking like, was that the Joker? And then I realized, or like, you know, I looked at it and thinking like, it sounds like Mark Hamill. And then, I, and then like, you know, the rest of the conversation happened. I was like, oh, that's definitely Mark Hamill. <laughs> no paparazzi, no camera. At least don't want Joker knowing I'm around, considering that he can see me. Plus, Bruce Wayne will pay for the money. Why would Bruce Wayne pay for the money, some people will say. Well, if you don't know who Batman is, considering I just showed the bile, then you really don't know Batman. But, oh well. I know I'm supposed to keep that a secret, but whatever. Unreliable. How did Joker get... Be quiet. What's going on? He went up. Um... Um, how'd you get a scratch from that? Uh, was it the shrapnel? Like, you guys saw that cut on his chest, right? That's what you think, Harley? You don't know bats. Was taken up to the surface in the elevator. If I want to follow them, I'll need to do this the old-fashioned way. Calm down, man. You need to get your heart rate down. Who else? I told him he's a monster. They should fry him. Calm down. I'll stop him. Okay. Now he's nervous. At least that's something. Real quick. Okay, I wanted to check whether or not that did anything, but then I realized, oh, wait. Oh, right. Hmm. Right, this little secret room is something specific, and I'll get to it when we get to it. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with it. He's like, we need to get to a specific point in the game where I'm allowed to actually do the thing I want to do. For those of you curious as to what I mean... Um, all of the, there's specific things in certain rooms that have different stuff in which I can scan with my detective vision, but I need to activate it, you know, by doing something specific. So keep that in mind, I guess. If you see me like trying to like, uh, look at an object and doing something, it's because, oh, I can actually do it, but I need to do something else. So keep that in mind. Oh, and here's another little factor thing that they have in this game, collectibles. Besides the Riddler trophies, there are these, the interview tapes. Harleen Quinzel, call me Harley. Everyone does. I'm surprised you want to intern here at Arkham. I've always had a thing for extreme personalities. You can't deny there's an element of glamour to these super criminals. I warn you right now, these are hardcore psychotics. Most would rather kill you than speak to you. I'm sure I'll be fine, Doctor. They'll eat you for breakfast. I mean it. One or two of them will enjoy it too. Be careful. Imagine if she got Killer Croc or um, Zaz or maybe Penguin or the Riddler. Imagine if Harley was assigned to any of the other crazies. 
Do you think she would have been some type of um, crony to them or would have had some type of different result from them? I don't know, but it feels like if it could have happened. But yeah, uh, some of... By the way, I do want to say, not, not all of these characters have, uh, you know, interview tapes with their uh, bios. Um, okay, yeah. No, these, these... Not everyone has an interview tape, only certain important ones and certain voice actor ones, so... You know, you won't see certain, like, um, characters like, um, as, well, actually, Zaz has an interview tapes. But most characters that have the interview tape logos to them will always have five of them. And usually they're in the same area. But, you know, not everyone will have an interview tape. Batman won't have them. Uh, Frank doesn't have it. And uh, some other villains that'll be appearing with their bios won't have them. So keep that in mind, I guess. You know, just in case if you're wondering. I just want to say that just in case if people are like, oh no, is every single character going to have an interview tape? No, 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 they won't. It's only a few number of them. Not everyone will have an interview tape. But eh, it, it's, it's something that's actually kind of interesting and kind of cool that they did. Like, oh, hey, we, we decided, you know, um, you know, another collectible we're going to put out is people talking, you know, just to showcase more character building just in case that people were like um wanted more character from these characters that we introducing from this hey, game I know you can hear me I got a little something for you to listen to Harley and Frank are nearly out of the building with the old man how are they going to get past all the guards let's have a listen shall we hey Frank where you been Joe has got more men on the way they're coming around the front of the asylum You'd think, you'd think Batman would have warned people about Frank's betrayal a few seconds later. Patients should remain where they are. Do not attempt escape. Well, now you're just asking them to escape. But I understand, you know, it's technically not their fault. Okay, uh, by the way, when it says, like, press A when you're climbing up, it just automatically makes you climb up. That's all it does. I was kind of hoping for a thing where it did in back, uh, Arkham City where you literally get flung upwards. But I understand, you know, they didn't want to do that to a degree, so they had to do the other thing. But it makes sense. Real quick. Hmm. Hmm. I'll get back to that. For those of you curious, that's an important collectible too. But we'll get to that later. Oh yeah, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to talk about like how this game was actually an interesting little dilemma thing. Because like, at the time of this game's release, I think the first Batman film uh, directed by Christopher Nolan was coming out at the time. It was like, oh, like, oh, Batman, um, Arkham, um, Batman Arkham Asylum was uh, about to be released or announced for a game. And people were like, huh? That's not a tie-in to the Christopher no Nolan movie? No, it, it technically isn't, so... That's interesting that they decided to make an original Batman film. Well, an original story Batman-esque video game thing. And it was like, 
Huh, that's interesting that they decided to put it out near uh, Batman's movie um, thing, because if the movie didn't do well, you think they would be like, eh, maybe, maybe we should give up on Batman for a while. I don't know. Because, like, before Batman Begins, or, uh, uh, what was it? Not Batman Begins, it was a different, uh, Batman movie title. What was it called? What was it called? Well, you know, Christopher Nolan's first Batman film. That one was the, uh, uh, first Batman film in theaters ever since, uh, you know, Batman and Robin. Which was a bit of a, you know, a bit of a flop of sorts. Oh, I was like wondering, how do I do that? Like, where do I go? And then like, oh. So that was a bit odd to look at, but eh, whatever. Okay, now I can do the thing I can do. Like, for those of you, like, I was, I, I could have sworn that's what you had to do when you did this, but... Apparently, you wouldn't do it until later, but real quick. This is what these things are, and... By the way, I will say this just now. I won't listen to all of these, all of these, you know, like, in... Uh, like, whenever I find a lot of these, like, interview tapes or these things, I won't be listening them to them, like, all at once. I will be, like, you know, just listening at least to the first ones of each of their things at least once. And maybe later on, I'll just showcase me listening to all the other ones, just because I want to showcase them. But that's for later. For now, I'll only listen to the first of some of these, and then the last of the other ones at some points. Maybe not, maybe, maybe I won't do that. And I'll just, uh, like, you know, continue on with the game, and at some point, I'll listen to all of the interview tapes and all of these things. So, you know, keep that in mind, I guess. And now to show you what these things are. Spirit of Amadeus Arkham. That was the decoder, sorry. All my actions, I have saved this cursed city, where my own curse is to forever remain in the shadow. My story is carved into the very soul of Arkham, and will only be revealed to those dedicated enough to discover it. So there's six, four. So there's 24 of these, I think. If I'm counting these correctly, there's four rows of six. So six, 12, 18, 24. I think there's 24 of these and there's a secret last one that you, or maybe the last one is a secret one you need to find. But the way to get to the last, last one of the Arkham thing is to complete a specific thing that you need to do. And yeah. Um, just in case if you, uh, like some people don't know, at least for the building itself, you know, uh, the, you know, the, um, Spirit of Arkham is the, um, manifesto slash slightly origin story of the man named Arkham. Uh, you know, Arkham Asylum was named after a person, or at least in the fictional world of Batman, it was named after a person, and we'll learn more about him through both the story of this as well as something else a little bit later on. I'll get to Ark uh I, oh I think his name is Amadeus, right? Amadeus Arkham. And I'll explain more about like what exactly the whole um story behind that is as soon as we get to it. But for now, let's uh just uh you know continue on our way as Batman and beat the living hell out of these guys. Dang it. Oh yeah, that's something that, you know, these guys can do, by the way. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna fall down. I was like, oh Christ. Oh yeah, by the way, I do want to mention that. 
if you ever get hurt or injured in a uh, combat situation, the way to restore your health is by doing well enough in the next combat situation or getting uh, AXP points outside of the um, stuff, like collecting stuff. And the experience you get from that will immediately boost up your health back up. So that's an interesting way they, you know, deal with that particular health thing. Because I don't think it regens by itself naturally. Quinn tried to slow me down. Dropped an I don't know, maybe. Did it work? <laughs> of course not. I'll get back to you when I reach the end of the trail. But yeah, real quick. Um, if you are around other things, you know, around weapons and caches and stuff, to where the enemies can grab him, they will grab him if they ever, like, get the chance to. So keep that in mind. Like, certain enemies will grab onto, um, what, what is it? Like, you know, uh, pipes, bats, guns. It depends on the situation and, you know, what's around them. So I guess you have to worry about that as well. To me, the Arkham games have also been somewhat of a cultural phenomenon to a degree. It's like, it's so weird looking back on it and thinking like, oh, this game had like little expectations to it. And yet it really like raised the bar for games a little bit later on. Granted, it's not the first one to do some of this stuff. Like the combat system where it's like, oh, punch, 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 just a simple punch. And then you press a Y to counter, you have a B to block or stun. And, you know, all these other acrobatics things. But it's one of the first mainstream ones to really, like, bring this to light. And it certainly is, like, a focal point to where people point to and be like, oh, this type of combat system is, like, the main thing, or everyone has that type of thing nowadays. It's like... Joker's men have taken control of the cell block transfer corridor. That's not good. I patched into a guard radio. It sounds like Joker's crew have got their hands on weapons. I know. I'll calibrate the cowl's vision mode to isolate armed henchmen. Okay, armed henchmen are red, so keep that in mind. Suicide. I need to be smart and find a different way past them. And this just basically gets onto silent takedowns. How exactly the other guys don't hear the first punches that they're made, I'm not sure, but eh, whatever. Like, seriously, how do you not hear the first punch or the second punch from the other guys? It's like, whap! Okay, good. This is the right way to go. No problem. And I'm just so glad, like, he didn't rat me out, like, oh. I'm glad you didn't tell him. But I'm so glad you didn't rat me out about this. Like, seriously, I could have, like, been very much dead if you told the guy, oh, by the way, Batman's behind you. What? But yeah, here comes another section that I really like in this game. Uh, that really does cement this game as like, oh, it may not be the first one to do this, but it certainly is like a very big mainstream game that works with this. I will say, to some degree, I will say, like, you know, the whole concept of, oh, Batman's, uh, you know, a lot of your viewers and gamers always point to Batman, Arkham's, uh, the Arkham series as like, oh, the creators or the godfathers of a particular combat system, like, you know, attack, attack, counter, attack, attack, counter, stuff like that. And while that's technically not true, I will admit, yeah, it is a good reference point because all of the games afterwards that do have this particular combat system do work with what they have and work well doing the things they do, you know? 
So it's not unfounded. It's just that, you know, it makes sense why certain people be like, Okay, thank God. I was thinking like, oh no. Can I do it? Yes! Yes! <laughs> that's why I wanted the inverted takedown, because that's fun. So how many of there? Okay, there's one more hostile. Oh. That's also another thing you gotta be worried about a bit. Like, uh, real quick. To really explain real quick, uh, whenever uh, you take out a certain amount of uh, bad guys, they start reacting more sporadically and get more nervous. So if you take out like um, three of the f three of the um, six guys there, the other three will start acting differently. It's like if you have six guys and you take down two of them, they'll start like saying like, "Oh, stick together and you know, uh, don't split off too much." And if you do take out one of them in that group and they are, there's just three somehow and you go like oh you lead one to another location they'll be like oh no or you somehow pick off one of the other ones silently and the other one's like oh no the guy I was just with is gone what do we do the other ones will be like oh to hell with this it's every man for himself and then they all split off and if you just have one guy left he'll get so twitchy and nervous that anything will happen or the environment will start acting up this is mainly to trip up both the player and the guy, because it's like, like you saw the boiler, it it reacted and started going like, psh, psh. it started making that noise. It doesn't really do that like outside of it, like you know, just you know, when we're in a normal placated state. So the game will you know um, make stuff happen around the environment to make the uh, um, bad guys react to it and make them more twitchy, which can lead to you getting more. Uh, Possibly, like, not being able to be stealthy as much. It depends on how well you're doing. Because, like, the game can be very stealthy-esque and combat-heavy. So, you know, it does that type of blend, I think, admirably well, I think. At least to me, it feels that way. So keep that in mind. Did you really think it was going to be that easy, Bats? I just had a few more of my boys your way. Let's see how you deal with these uh Real quick. Yes, I wanted to do that, honestly. And yeah, I just wanted to do that real quick. I want to try my hand in another inverted takedown at least. Eventually. Eventually I want to do that. And by the way, I do want to apologize for the whole, you know. Should I? Remember, boys, nah.
Oh, by the way, Joker usually does inform them whenever one of their particular guys gets knocked down. Real quick, just to state. Just to state that. You know, just to say it. Like, you know, uh, just in case you're wondering. Sometimes the Joker will say, Hey, guys, I think you're missing one of your guys. And that's their particular, like, warning. How'd you pass up the other guy that was down? Did he see me? I don't think he saw me. Well, it looks like it's just you and the bat. Gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. Nah, it's just me now. All alone in this lonely road. Okay. Well, thanks. You care about your men as much as anyone else cares about their men. In, like, a villain sense, so. By the way, yeah, I kind of want to do that to the guy, you know, invert a takedown as well as cut the rope on them. Because you can do that, by the way. And you can scare other, like, uh, bad guys and do that, too. Like, if you invert a takedown any of the bad guys, you can just, you know, do this to them. And then immediately go, like, oh, hey, like, oh, I inverted takedown him. He's hanging from the ceiling. If you cut his rope... Some person will react to you like, oh my god, what happened? So, you know, it's funny to see that happen. But eh, it's not too useful outside of it. And look what happened to Frank. And this is what happened to Frank, everyone. Joker must have figured out how I was tracking Gordon. Officer Bull's trail stops here. Poor guy. Karma. But, eh, poor guy. God damn it. Okay, wait, stop. Okay, thank God. Oh, you did it. Well done. I would have expected a child to work that one out, let alone the world's greatest detective. <laughs> I was having trouble with my bat claw, okay? But yes, to really quick to answer this, these are his challenges. Image Pictionary stuff that reveal other stuff like, you know, um, stuff that are environmentally that you can take a photo of. The Chronicles of Arkham, his Riddler trophies, uh, secondary mystery, and the Joker teeth. For some reason, that's a part of his challenges. Because you, know, you have to destroy a certain amount of Joker teeth in these particular sections. I don't get it, but eh, whatever. Whatever works for him, I guess. Can't get an upgrade yet, but eh. Over here, Batman. How'd I get down here? I was up there. It was a massacre. Bulls came walking in telling everyone to cover the front entrance. Said something about Joker's army coming through the main gate. Hmm. Two of my guys moved to the exit, and Frank shot him dead. They never stood a chance. Was Bowles alone? Thought he was. Then I saw Harley Quinn. 
She was surrounded by Black Gate prisoners. They were just killing everyone in the room. Well, I had no choice. I, I got in here, locked the door. I, I could see it on the security feed. They had someone with them. It looked like the commissioner. Bowles is dead. They carried on without him. Must have outlived his usefulness. Good. You a scum. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh. Oh, sorry, man. But thanks for giving me a way out now. Real quick. Oh, that's on the other side. Okay. Oh, man. By the way, yeah, that uh, whole icon right here, this whole uh, explosion little icon, I need something specific to open those uh, pathways. So I can't get to them yet. Hmm. We apologize for this interruption to our regular broadcast. Jack Ryder is live from the Gotham Bay area with some breaking news. This is Jack Ryder with breaking news in the Gotham Bay. We are getting reports of it. Jack Ryder, an investigative reporter, well known for his aggressive manner and his detentive to get truth. What viewers don't realize is that he's also the creeper. A garishly colored vigilante who Ryder can, with effort, turn into at will. Although at the point the creeper maniac takes over, the creeper is usually on the side of the good, just barely on the side of sanity. So yeah, that's uh, that's another character in this game that we can get used to. And that's the only time I'm going to be reading this story because, you know, I just thought that was inter interesting. Because I actually know what character they're talking about, at least in terms of design. The creeper appeared in, I think, the animated, uh, the animated series of the Justice League, I believe. And I never knew his alternate personality. I was like, huh. So that's, so this is like his alter ego. So he's related to Batman. Okay, that's interesting. Or at least connected to Batman to a degree. I'm not sure whether or not that is the case anymore. Or whether or not they've changed that to where, you know, the Creeper is involved with Batman now. I don't know. I will say, if he is, I really wish they would have him, you know, help Batman out more than he does. He, he seems like another hero character that can help out Batman, but eh, whatever. Alright, hold 